and welcome everyone to the hey. OC Show live Q and A, live question and answer. I'm Truthman, I'm from Montreal, and below that, no, that side of the screen is Timothée Chalat, right in the HW Bot office in Taipei. Hey, hey Timothée, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing very well. You know, here it's about 10:30 a.m. and uh, while well, everything is fine, beautiful weather. It's um, almost 25 degrees today in Taipei, so I'm enjoying my Taiwanese winter. Well, here in Montreal, <laughs> it's like minus 20. Okay, no, hey, it's minus 10. It used opposite. to be minus How awesome is that? <laughs> <laughs> so for this special episode, that's the that's actually the first time we do the the live Q and A after the OC show. So you did record the OC show earlier this week. Uh, publish yep. that at the by the end of the week and then uh, invite people to join us here on Twitch uh, on the OC TV channel to actually ask any question they have about any topic of the OC show or any topic that were uh, that were um, during the CES, during the AOCT, AOC, GOC, HyperX, HOT, like all the competition that did happen in the past and yeah. the competition that will be coming in the next uh, in the next yeah, few that's, months. That's right, yeah, because uh, we're, we're, we're trying with this new format to, to make something different. Like most people were saying before, we were uh, maybe to, talking too much, you know, about different topics and might have been sometimes running over too long, like over 45 hours for some of the shows. So this time we're, we're doing a very compressed episode uh, every two weeks and uh, a few days later we have this, this this Twitch time where we can actually take the time to really go over the topics and have some guests that actually participate or are kind of connected with the different events and yeah, join us to, to talk. So, uh, you, so you, the OC show will be shorter in time for the YouTube video that we uh, that we are posting. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want to see, you can go on youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV in one word, and you will see that video in the playlist there. Uh, you can also uh, watch the, the replay of the previous OC show for the season one. Uh, that's the first episode of the season two. Um, and as you said, that's going to be shorter in time. So it's like 15, max 20 minutes, uh, a bit less information, all the information you need to know as someone that just yeah. didn't check out for what's going on in the OC community for the past two or three months. Actually, that's going to be every almost every two weeks for this year. And Hopefully, if you have yes. any questions, <laughs> just ask us right now on the Twitch live chat and we will be answering you guys as soon as we can. Yeah, so, so like I was mentioning, Truth, there's also one thing. We have a guest today. Yeah, who is the guest uh, for the OC, OC show today? Uh, well, our guest, uh, his, uh, his name is actually Oliver. Uh, most of you, I think, know him as uh, El Gapo from Overclock.net. And uh, we're really happy to have him on board. Hey, Oliver, how's it going? It's a pleasure to be here. I'm actually one of the strangers that uh, watches this show. <laughs> so, so it's pretty cool being on it. Yeah, it's very nice even, to even have if you it here. Is, it is half two in the morning, but I'm uh, all hyped up on coffee, ready to go. Uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, uh, it's really hard to find uh, the right schedule for that kind of stream. Like, it's either very early for some, very late for others, and super, super late for others, others. <laughs> But yeah. Well, actually, for you, Oliver, it's quite late in the night because you live in Europe, right? Yeah, I'm in the, in the UK. Go get one more cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. Ready to go. So yeah. um, on the, um, it's actually interesting to see that there's a lot of people from around the world that are uh, watching us on the live chat. If you have any question, just ask us. Uh, I can see that we have Gniadol. That's actually pretty difficult to say, but that's loading backward. Our friend from uh, Brazil uh, <laughs> that is actually um, actually is working with uh, uh, HyperX in Kingston. He was at the at the H uh, H O T. Yeah, so oh, maybe cool. since we are mentioning HOT, we can go straight into the topics of talking about Let's uh, go. What, what happened at CS, because you've been there, uh, I wasn't there, Oliver, you weren't there either, so you are the guy nope. that actually can tell us what, what actually happened there. So what happened at, uh, at CES was um, Kingston, uh, actually Kingston and HyperX is the same brand, but uh, HyperX is the, the gaming brand for Kingston. Uh, they were having the uh, uh, HyperX OC Takeover Competitions final. So they did the first thing during uh, Computex last uh, last June in, in 2014. We were actually uh, streaming that one too. 
and they did the final in CS in Las Vegas. So they basically invite 10 overclockers, some people coming here. Um, they were using the latest uh, X99 SOC champion from Gigabyte. They were using unreleased uh, memory stick. So that was the 3333 MHz uh, DDR4. Uh, kit. Uh, that kit was not on sales yet, but they plan to release it. They have a, I think they have a, a 3000 megahertz kit, but they're going to release that the 3333, especially after doing this event. Uh, yeah, it's that was pretty cool to, to see uh, Hyperx doing that kind of, uh, that high frequency kit. It's very, very nice. And although thing is, DDR4 is not on the market for a while. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost almost brand new, it's just a f like six months. It's not, it's not over a year that it's available on the market. And we already see like a, a race to, to go as fast as we can and to push this kit as much as they can. Um, especially on using the uh, X99 SOC Champion from Gigabyte. Uh, the, th this board is like optimized for uh, memory overclocking. So they have only like uh, two times the, the, the dual channel instead of having like four and four. So just mm -hmm. like reducing all the uh, all the issue you could have with like a, a eight stick of RAM and to just have four on this platform. Um, that, that was interesting to see that uh, after the uh, the event, uh, once again, Extreme Addict won. Yes, he won although last year. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, actually. That's a lot of money even for the winner. Like, he must be super happy, I suppose. Yeah, he actually, he, he earned like 7,000 uh, USD hey, uh, by winning this competition. I didn't expect you to be first at and that point. We, we won't be able to <laughs> see it on the, on the video right <laughs> here, but uh, after the commission asked me, hey, what, what are you going to do with 7,000? I'm just going to buy hardware. Because <laughs> really? hardware is expensive, so I'm just going to buy more <laughs> hardware <laughs> to be <laughs> sure that I'm going to be here next year. Are you gonna try Yeah, I'll try the freestyle day tomorrow. All right, spend all that prize money. All right, come on, money like thirty megahertz. Yeah. And actually, on the screen, you have uh, Uncle Fester. He's from uh, Australia. Uh, actually, Timothy, you know him well, right? Yeah, I know him well. Like, I spent quite some time uh, with him, uh, even working uh, at his company in Australia when I was uh, down under for a, for a one year working holiday last year, actually. So. Yeah, it was a. He's a really cool guy, and it's really nice to see him again uh, back in the in the front of the scene. You know, actually, he um, did perform well. He, he ended up in the top three, so that's actually a, a good achievement. Especially, I, I was making joke to be to be honest, like for the backstory, I was making joke with him for pretty much all the competitions. Like, hey, I didn't even expect you to be here. I didn't even expect you to be able to overclock at that level anymore. And he was like, <laughs> well, you know, I just I just came here and just gonna do whatever I can. And he was like. Um, yeah, did you prepare for it? I was like, Mah. it's okay. As long, as long as I can do stuff, it's fine. I'm like, okay, just just do it, buddy. <laughs> just go. It's <laughs> like riding the bike. Yeah, yeah you, never do, you never forget. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially uh, Uncle Festa is very. Uh, it's when he's well known for his uh, tweaking skills, right? Super Pie and all that stuff. So, so that kind of competition where it's all about tweaking of the memory is just the, the right the right fit for him. And he actually was pretty much in almost breaking the world record um, he, uh, of the maximum memory frequency. But during CS time, it's like uh, the time for announcement. So there was like a lot of score being posted and being improved. Um, but it was, he, he had like a lot of chance to do it. But in the end, it's um, extreme addict to be first, like uh, uh, 7,000 uh, USD. Then it's Splave, I think it's 500. And then it's Uncle Fest. 5,000. Uh, 5,000, sorry. And uh, three. <laughs> And uh, three thousand for Uncle Fester. So uh, that's a lot of money, eh? Yeah, that's that's actually uh, interesting that the the cash price is going up. Still nothing compared to gaming, but the thing is the dedication and the uh, amount of time these guys spend uh, winning and testing the system. Yeah. So did they all bring uh, their own hardware to this competition, or was it? No, all that was provided? all provided hardware. So they were invited. They were flown, uh -huh. uh, flown over. Uh, the, like the flight hotel and everything was paid and the, the, the gear was provided. So that's one way of doing the competition. There's actually a, a lot of other ways to do competitions and just depend yeah. on, the, on the money and what you want to do with it. We can actually discuss well, well, a bit more about that uh, later in this uh, live Q&A of the OC show. Yeah, actually, uh, just adding one thing. Uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's interesting, you know, like you're, you're mentioning having the, the flight actually if you're going to to a show like Computex or CS, if, if the competition takes place at that time, it's actually it's actually a very nice gift, even if you're not winning anything, you 
know, even if you lose, it gives you the chance to participate to uh, the other OC things that happened at the CES. It gives you the chance to go around the show or even meet contacts. You know, if you're if you're evolving in that top level, you you need to you need support unless you're actually really rich. And uh, yeah, it's meeting the industry guys and the reps of the different companies is one one of the ways of well getting your way through the. The thing, right? Actually, it's one of the ways to get sponsors to pay for the fair for next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and even if you fail at the competition, you still mm -hmm. get a free trip to Vegas. Yeah, it's so cool, you yeah. Can... You might just uh, gamble and win the, the big well, prize. Well, you just get the flu anyway. That's that's CES. I mean, a uh, CES um, flu, yeah. The, the, the CES flu is something very well known. Uh, there's two things, especially known for CES. Where you get the flu the because uh, it's the, the beginning of the year, so that's the uh, the, the first full like, week. Oh! Yeah. 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 people are tired after the like the Xmas vacation and so on. So people did party a bit too much. Their body yeah, is well. weak, and you're shaking hands. You're shaking hands like for five days straight, and everyone yeah, I mean, and some people are coughing and coughing and just shaking hands. Like, and then after that, yeah. you get the. Yeah. I I so, true, I've, true. Been, I've been sick <laughs> after it. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the flu, what else happened there? Like, I mean, overclocking us, because I know oh. you, you've been to your, what's it called, the yeah. bench house, right? Yeah, we went to the bench so house. Uh, just to finish on, on that video, uh, so, yes, you're going to see us walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. See us walking? See us flu and walking. <laughs> you just walk way too much. Everything Here. is like in the same city, but it's Lots and lots of travel. You get into a casino, it takes you 15 minutes to get into the well, that's working <laughs> is that is that because everything is big or is it just kind of camera shy? Ah, it's just because everything is in the, in the they have some stuff in the convention center, but the convention center is maxed out. So they have other convention centers in other uh, uh, in other uh, hotels, and then it's like oh, in these hotels you might have some people to rent rooms, and you have to wait for the elevators, and you have to go all the way from the like the entrance of the casino to the other side. And these guys know it's way too big, so you always end up walking and walking and. Walking. Yeah, but you can see it in the video. It's yeah, it's crazy. While it's interesting to see at night during the day, it's not that that cute. But at night, with all the light and so on, it's like, well, as long as you as long as you don't care about like the ecologically, uh, if you're not okay. ecologically compliant, I would say it's okay. You don't mind. Yeah. So well, yeah, you were talking about EVGA the booth. Uh, EVGA <laughs> booth. Yeah, that's uh, we're gonna talk about that a little bit uh, yeah, after sure. I think. Um, that was the uh, the GTX 980 uh, special KPI edition. Uh, you were talking about the bench house. So basically, what they did is, as uh, 2014, they just rent a house and invite overclockers to stay there and say, okay, you pay that much, and you have like the LN2, you can sleep there, and there's a, you know, bring your stuff over, just stay there, and you're gonna be able to, you know, spend the weekend with over the other overclockers, doing stuff, overclocking, talking about any topics you want. So actually, we stay there. Um, Peter stayed there a few days, and I stayed there like a three or four nights. I can't, re I can't even remember. Um, so there was like a klepto actually on the screen. Ryan, that was like, a, oh, okay, I'm gonna set this up, and then um, uh, Mike that just arrived here on the video. Uh, when Mike was like, okay, just Mike CDM, just okay, just come in, just gonna bench some stuff. Uh, Splave was there also, so uh, it bring like a four-way setup on the plane with him. So that was actually- you guys had a, So you guys had LN2 and all that, right? Uh, the LN2 arrived late, uh, almost like, I think like a Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. Yeah, I think it arrived Tuesday. Uh, I, I did arrive in Vegas on Saturday, so I spent just a few days uh, before being there. Um, and um, and you know you know it's it's yes yeah. so and I'm a, I'm a party guy so I usually end up in like the the party and then when I came back home at like two a.m. just want to sleep so all the some of the guys were still benching some of them were already sleeping for the competition the next few days so yeah so for example after the uh, the HOT the HyperX OC takeover some of the guys went back to the bench house and continue benching well okay cool <laughs> <laughs> well. Like Along a with Kong bench party in the house. Yeah, yeah that's pretty great. cool. I actually love the idea. You know, it's really cool. Like, because uh, it's true. Sometimes it's you're on the booth, right? You don't get a chance to necessarily bench what you would like to bench or something. So. Yeah, that's that's the thing. There's no restriction. It's like a OC gathering. Uh, the main issue yeah. is always like you get the LN2 and uh, get enough power uh, power delivery in oh. the house. Oh yeah, Oliver, did you bid uh, some uh, bench house style events already in the past? 
Uh, we've done, typically we uh, rent out a function room in the pub or, mm. or section off half of the pub so we can all bench in there. And yeah, that's it, pretty cool. It's in the pub, you can have free beer. <laughs> Well, free you well, uh, pay for it. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay for it. We spend way too much on the beer, but uh, yeah, everyone still has to pay for a hotel at the end of it. So the idea of an OC is, is brilliant. It's all it's all in one, and you get to buy your own cheap beer from the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the bench house. Yeah, yeah Extremadic was there. Uh, actually, the bench house concept. Uh, yes, you have everything there, but it gets messy very, very fast. If you if you saw people, yeah, even in the uh, during the, uh, the 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 live stream we did for uh, for the few of the competitions uh, at OCTV and right here on Twitch, you can see that some of the overclocker of the overclockers that you give them that much space and they're gonna use that much. You give them twice, they're gonna use twice. They Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, overclockers yeah. usually don't clean up their desk, then just just put true stuff away. <laughs> no, even even myself, I have to admit that sometimes it's just a big mess. I mean, if you look behind me, you can have a, a glimpse of that. Well, uh, so yeah, the bench house was um, was a nice idea for there. I think that's gonna be uh, interesting. Uh, along with at CES, there was a uh, gigabyte. There was actually they were actually launching the X99 SoC champion. Um, so there was having uh, a few a few overclockers to to come there. Uh, Uncle Fester was although at the at the Gigabyte booth. Uh, Splave was there. Dinos we can see on the screen from uh, from Australia. Uh, we can see iCookie sleeping in the background. <laughs> so what they did is very similar yeah, at that so booth fun. of what they usually do on uh, on uh, Computex. Or, like they bring a bunch of the the guys to to, to demo the boards and yeah, we'll stuff like that and try to break <laughs> records, records or okay, they, try to they, 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 now we're just having any good scores because I know they, they had already massive scores on that board beforehand, right? So the I don't know what they were planning. Yes, for that one. So, so, so basically, no, the way it works is uh, usually they keep the scores for the lunch, uh, for the lunch of the board. And um, Gigabyte uh, used to have this uh, secret, OC, secret OC event, um, secret OC event that you can, you know, they invite overclockers, they don't tell anyone, so only the overclockers and uh, the Gigabyte uh, people knows that. So they invite the guys and uh, try to bench all the hardware, the, the, usually the main board is not uh, completely, uh, you cannot buy it and so on, so they test everything oh, it's before. it's still like in testing mode. Yeah, it's still like the last, uh, the last part of the, of the quality check, you could say, like the overclocking compliance. Mini is hardware. <laughs> and, um, and they test that and they post some scores, but I think they My keep Maybe. Some of the, they kept some of the scores that were way too high at the time, like two months before, and they released them for for the lunch. And they did some uh, some oh, scores although at the, uh, That's what you're at the yeah, too, yeah they had some pretty uh, pretty solid scores, including some uh, memory records. But that's interesting because that that uh, X99 SoC champion is actually uh, aimed at just overclocking. You can use that for regular computers, but yeah, it's aimed at overclocking. Uh, but it has all the features, right? I mean, like a good sound, LAN, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. You just so don't you have the. A you just have a, a better BIOS, uh, some uh, yeah. special features on the board. Although uh, okay. you have the the SMD thing, like so they don't have like uh, the, um, the the RAM slots that. It's not like pin <laughs> that they solder on the other side of the membrane. They just soldered that, like the like the like the chip. Mounted. Yeah, it's a yeah. mounted device. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, uh, so, that so that, that could be one of the reasons. Like that could yeah, be one of the reasons why they are uh, <laughs> yeah, actually doing uh, doing it uh, good scores. And we members. always complain that we want. Yeah, like so that board is a mix of the LN2 boards of before and the SOC board, right? Is it like a you know, before you had the special LN2 edition board and you had you had the other one. Well, the, 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 the LN2 version, uh, that actually you can see in the back right there. Yeah, you, you're uh, one of those guys that have one. <laughs> Many of us. Even <laughs> then. Don't Why has this guy got one? <laughs> well, I can, I can <laughs> share it. If you, want it. if you want it, I can lend it to you. And uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, ju I just got a yes OC force and just put the LN2 stickers on it. No worries. <laughs> 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 I got the board, no it's fake. As long as you don't see the board, you never know. I just got the box. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Just covered up the mounting holes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did, did you bench on one of those SE boards from Gigabyte? Uh, I played with the Z87 ones. The, yeah. uh, but I've the not the more recent uh, ones. SOC Force yeah. Champion board. We, we got a bunch Anything of those for an event. Memory. Uh, when Haswell came out. Oh How yeah, yeah. but that's the last time I've played with them. Uh, <laughs> need to catch up, man. You need to catch up. Yeah, I've been out of the scene for a little while. I've been slacking. 
um, so yeah, so beside all that at uh, at CES, uh, so we uh, we pretty much had the uh, the HOT final, um, the Gigabyte booth that was interesting for us. Uh, there was all those the um, the launch, the official release, I would say, of the uh, EVGA uh, G4 GTX 980 uh, KPI editions. I think Oliver, you can speak a bit more about that one. Um, did you actually see any results out of this card while you were there? I didn't CES. saw any result because I didn't spend much time at the uh, EVGA booth. Uh, EVGA usually have uh, a suite, so you actually that's one mm. of the of the few that you have to go there and see what's uh, what's going on and then I'll check it out and. Okay, yeah. they were but they I were displaying it like, oh, this is the frequencies and so on. I can't even remember the frequencies by, uh, by by heard like this. And uh, Vince have been, um, I gonna say that Vince have been a bit uh, hey, what's up, guys? Jason? tricky. Uh, I, I don't say tricky. I would say uh, teasing a lot about that card, uh, and he was actually uh, <laughs> posting some like, like you can see. Can he was posting pictures on on Twitter. Or on Facebook, <laughs> and you can't see anything from the from that picture. Yeah. But anyone yeah. he's, knew he's really good at that. He's really good at teasing the the shots of his cars, like like the money shots of the cars. <laughs> I would say. It's like you he's can't always. even see the branding completely. It's just like yeah, yeah, I I know it's coming. Everyone in in the uh, like the the top of the community knows that what's coming. It's just teasing people away because he doesn't want to release scores or release only the best ones. And but he always thing, says, know, that, hey, I can't yeah. do that, but show me the scores, prove it. <laughs> yeah. Oliver, you benched already on one of those classified cards? No, but uh, a lot of people on Overclock.net did, uh, and uh, the scores were monstrous. Like, <laughs> these Kingpin cards are like the closest thing you can get to a, a plug and play LN2 card. Like, you don't need to do anything. Like, yeah. um, I th I you remember the lightning cards in the past and the rog cards? You always had to do a little bit of modding to get it to work right. Had to mess around with the bias, but these are just straight plug and play. Beast. World record. World record. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. So like, you, no, you, you no guys got a, involved. Yeah, you have a pretty active community, right? For like kingpin stuff. Um, yeah, it seems really popular on the site, even among uh, the water cooling crowd but um i guess people just love the fact that you can get a, a cherry pick card straight out of the box you don't need to go through 10 reference cards and maybe pop a couple of them like in the hunt for a, a really nice one so mm. it's cool for that if you don't mind paying that extra premium and it is it is pretty expensive yeah, it but, is um, premium price Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. premium price cards. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, actually, I took some pictures when I was there, so that's actually the, the how the cards look like. Um, they made some funky LED stuff, so they actually the LED come from blue to red, to blue oh, to red. Oh, yeah. whoa! <laughs> Every, everyone's taken that shroud off. Actually. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, all the extreme overclockers don't use coolers anymore. So I mean, they use their <laughs> yeah. own uh, special cooler, and they add the, the water cooling edition. That is, uh, Everyone uses that when they think the card's dead. <laughs> <laughs> when it's not beating, we'll put the cooler back on. Like, Something wrong with this card. <laughs> I need to RMA it now. <laughs> and that's and when they've, you they've try to... have been pretty generous with the RMAs on those cards as well <clears throat> in the past. That's, that's a, right. Another good point. Yeah, yeah actually, VGA you know, it's, it's always... Important. It's part of the service, right? Like the, the kind of yeah. service you provide, the same way you would pay for it. I, I, I remember that EVGA used to have uh, some, uh, I won't say loose because it's not loose for us, it's interesting for us uh, about the RMA uh, conditions. I remember like, I think it was uh, 2008 or 27, um, I went to Munich where they used to have the uh, EVGA office in for Europe and I went there and uh, I visited like the RMA center because at that time the RMA center was uh, for France, uh, Luxembourg, Belgium and all, all these uh, Western country in Europe. Uh, was uh, based in Munich, and they were actually testing the card. The card doesn't work. Uh, just do. They just were just checking, like, okay, is this working? Is this working or not? And then they put that on the pile, like, to be tested more. But basically, they. Had, I, I'm not sure if they, they even checked that before. Uh, I think now with the, the the KPI edition and the classified, um, that those those cards are very expensive, and mm -hmm. you always expect to have something very good. So I think they do they do check a bit more for the uh, for the RMA now. 
but wow. Yeah. I, I, I don't have records of people being no, a bitchy about the remake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, it's always yeah, the same. I think they've been very good. Mm. You get a strong card, you want to push it as much as you can, and sometimes you push yeah. it too much. Well, and they know if you pay that much for a card, you're going to be overclocking it as well. Of course, <laughs> yeah. yeah you're no, not, they're not daft. <laughs> you're not buying it for... Well, some, some guys, I guess, buy it for just having a great card, you know. But most of the people, yeah, they plan to, to do at least a little bit of overclocking on it. Yeah. Well, uh, what I'd, else about... I'd be surprised if anyone was running that card with the stock cooler. I don't, I don't think I've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> They've all got water box or pots on. Yeah. Well, uh, we saw some other stuff during CES, um, like the yeah. cap capturm systems. Uh, oh capturm yeah, that system. was pretty cool, right? That's like a face change stuff, kind of. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, that thing is. Um, I don't say weird. Uh, it's uh, they basically reproduce like uh, they have a, the cooler and they have a, a gas, a special mix of gas inside. Uh, that mm -hmm. every every time you, I'm gonna say that ex explain that very easily. It's a hair cooler that is that's gonna be expensive. That's that's gonna be very efficient. Uh, the way they use it, they use the gas inside uh, the the heat pipe. You, the heat pipe yeah. you have uh, on regular coolers, there's a special gas inside. So they basically yeah. basically tweak that and uh, made a, a gas uh, a few times more efficient. And it was actually impressive to see that um, this was working. It looks it looks pretty big though. Uh, it is big. Um, they, I think they will release some uh, for the uh, like consumer market, but. Uh, the, 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 the sure thing is they are aiming at the uh, like the server market. If you remember, uh, for people that were uh, doing uh, like uh, extreme reviews and stuff like this, like six or eight years ago, Azetech used to have the same concept. So they call that the vapor chamber uh, that used to be around the circuit uh, 939 for AMD. They used to have the vapor chamber. So they do like the same thing with the gas and so on. It's, it's just a special mix of, uh, of gas and pressure inside that make the, the phase change uh, carrying the heat away. Oh, okay. is, is this the cooler that's got like the, the plexiglass on top of the... Yeah, you can CPU see actually the... So you, can see. you can see bubbling. Cool. Wow. That's actually oh, that's the, very, cool. very cool. That's very cool, yeah. Uh, I want to see how it performs. Yes. We'll see. see. As can, long as they, if it can beat out the H one hundreds and stuff like that, and it's the same price, that's not going to be the same price. Be worth uh, it. That's going to be like I, I guess that's going to be like over two hundred bucks, while the H one hundred is like one hundred twenty. Forget it then. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you know that's that's a they they, they use the a special coating systems, so they have like a mm. copper, aluminium, and um and two two space of aluminium, especially to have like the. Uh, the special like plexiglass on it and, and so on. That was actually interesting to uh, to speak about uh, about the technology they use. Uh, they use uh, it's not it's not welding. It's they, they do explosive on multiple. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, explosive. <laughs> the, the, the explosive yes. mount. Uh, um, it's not coating. You cannot solder welding, pretty much yeah. that. Explosive welding. Yeah. Yeah, explosive welding. That's it. So they put like a copper, aluminium, titanium, and aluminium because aluminium and aluminium is not sticking together quite well. So you need a, 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 a layer in between, like the thermal paste between your cooler and the CPU. And they do explosive on that, like, and then oh, there you get the pieces of. Uh, of the. Well, they they well, were yeah, actually sorry. they were actually claiming that they are the only one not doing space thing like the satellite and so on that were using that. So. Oh okay yeah. So do they do they tell you when they plan to to release that? Uh, I think uh, I think one is almost ready because they have the the twelve forty and the twelve twenty something like this. Uh, they have like a, the regular version and the extra one with two fans. Mm. Uh, but uh, I can't remember exactly the date for that. But oh, well, it's it's a very interesting to see, and if you want to explain the the phase change systems either in the, your refrigerator or uh, with liquid nitrogen and stuff like this, that's a good example to have uh, to explain to people how the that works. Like, uh, how you don't create cold, you never create cold, you just carry away the heat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. For very education, nice. for education, that's good. So have you seen some other stuff uh, like? Uh, Home automation, I hear it was the kind weird, of like a big weird topic. stuff like this. What is that? It's so like a, this, a walking buddy. <laughs> th this is you have open space, but you're the boss, but you don't want to go to uh, the location of your space because it's either too far away or you just don't want to leave your home. Are you, you too far to get there? <laughs> so you have a webcam and uh, like uh, they used to, I think they use like tablets. 
on on that thing and you can control them and then people will like oh hi saying hi to people that's freaky that's so it's like a that's segue freaky. for tablets no i don't think the yeah. i don't think you can plug any tablets <laughs> you need to use their own stuff but that's the same concept i saw an advert the for these <laughs> there was an advert on in the, the uk on television for these and it does look really creepy like yeah. these faces hovering around around the factory is <laughs> yeah it's, it's weird uh, it's like a you know bad like a like in a horrible futuristic movie you would have like people that they, they don't leave their home they just use that stuff to get around well at least you know it's not from <laughs> just japan. have an oculus rift on yeah and drive that around <laughs> yeah at least you know it's not from japan otherwise they would have built a complete body around that <laughs> yeah yeah, actually, yeah, RT surfers, uh, people might just steal it as well. I mean, like here, yeah, I just grabbed my bus by the by the neck and just stole it. <laughs> I just smashed my bus in the face. I'm the Segway. There's uh, there's a comment from RT surfers on the on the Twitch chat. They they're saying like people would just steal it. Yeah, might be. <laughs> yeah, if you come sure from happen. the back, there's no camera on it, so you can just get on the back. Like, oh yeah, can you try to kidnap your bus with that? Does that work? <laughs> you can have an accident with the Segway of your bus. Well, actually, the guys that made that uh, created Segway, I think he died using a Segway. I don't know if it's uh, it's real or if it's uh, of the of, uh, yeah. Right. Is that yeah? I think it's real. I think, yeah. I think he killed himself in the Segway. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Well, you know, you have to be careful. So, yeah. what is that ray drive? Um, actually, no, this ray drive is, uh, is not the the important things there. They oh, just okay. use a USB three point one. Um, USB keys to uh, try to reach um, the, the maximum PCI Express they can. Uh, there's a, a few new controllers for PCI Express uh, Red. So OCZ was having one, um, Super Talent was having one, uh, pretty much uh, like Kingston was announcing one and all these guys were like, oh, this is the new PCI Express SSD you know, with the uh, NVM, NVMe. So that technology basically means you don't need uh, a driver, a special driver on your OS. Oh, okay. So, so is it integrated driver to Windows? Yeah, like it's, it's, some, uh, it's not driver. even through Windows. It's uh, this, the BIOS can communicate directly with it. Um, oh. Basically, so you officially, it, no you could mm -hmm. install your OS on it. Yeah. I would actually like to, to do some PC mark benching with them. <laughs> yeah, I suppose yeah. you can always try. <laughs> Well, there was weird thing like a, like a submerged TV uh, in case you want okay. to watch TV in your aquarium. I don't know why. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some crazy uh, stuff. Uh, Zotac was there. They, they were announcing the uh, the GTX 980 AMP editions, but they had the AMP edition core. So that's the um, uh, the, the the stripped down one, and they have the GTX 980 AMP Extreme Edition. So they have like the regular one, the core, the AMP editions and the extreme one so they have like for the same uh, vga they have like four different one oh that's a lot of cards huh? yeah especially for the for the i end so that and was hard so. to hard to know which one to choose if you want to choose one well you know what like, so you Tucker know what's always one of those companies that they always have uh, really interesting cards but you never really see them for sale in the west and you never really see any results mm. like if you you remember they used to have uh, i think they brought out a, a motherboard for uh, Sandy Bridge that had like 24 phase power supply and we never really saw any results on it mm. but it looked it looked amazing it, it comes yeah, from the way the, yeah it comes from the way the company works too I mean uh, Zotac uh, the main company owning Zotac is a uh, PC partner if I'm right uh, that's OEM uh, PC partner is the factory uh, side and they have like the their consumer brand uh, like Foxconn used to do in the in a few years back oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. so, so they're pretty much like the, the consumer side for NVDA uh, add-in board. Um, that's why like the DAC, that's why actually why the DAC just do NVDA. Um, and and that's, that's why they made, it's like the OEM thinking. You have a market, you can do a product for it. And I guess that's the way they, are, they were thinking between that. Um, just one thing, I, I'm the, the, the core edition is not on a 980, but a 970. Oh, okay, just and I have no idea if they did that for the 960 because the 960s, no one wants to talk about that during CES because NVIDIA <laughs> just launched I mean, it last, yeah, last week. Oh, okay, well, there'll be some markets. 
Uh, some more right. picture about the bench house. So that's pretty much what the uh, yeah. the desk look like. So every it's not that bad actually. We can still see some white of the desk. Well, actually, that was the preparing. Like no one was benching before okay. that. So that was like just before benching. Uh, <laughs> when you woke up in the morning, you just uh, you, you have the choice like uh, opening the door, going to take the shower, and the first thing you see is that. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty neatly organized, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah. That's after, what I... after some of the setups that I've seen. <laughs> it's, fa it's fairly clean. <laughs> so Look at that, this... and it's all aligned, symmetric. Oh, yeah. Just a beauty. Extreme <laughs> addict in the morning. Um, the, that guy actually won the, uh, the, the HOT competitions. Uh, that's how we look in the morning. Actually, that guy slept on the couch for two days. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. So there, there were there were not enough beds for everyone. So it means next year they're gonna have to have a bigger bench house. Or... Uh, well, I don't know if they want to have like a bigger bench house or just make sure that well you can always come, but there's that many uh, uh, bed yeah. available. That's how I look at uh, like mm -hmm. drying drying the the main board and so on. Well, that's that? yes. Uh, basically, yeah. like, uh, oops. Oh, uh, tenacious D. Huh? Yeah, tenacious D. There, there was a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was a. I, I know. I know that you, Timothy, you were uh, not that pissed off about me. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. for the record and people that um, didn't follow up on, on on Facebook, by the way, go check our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash overclocking TV, and Twitter, twitter.com forward slash overclocking TV, all in one word. Um, and Timothy was supposed to go to CS. I was not supposed to go there. And then you end up to be here at the very last minute. Yep. So uh, between that, I, I decided that, okay, I will uh -huh. go and see what's going on. So you were supposed to go to that concert, but I went there. Quite nice. Yeah, well, I got a new headset, not this one. It's very good you went. Like, it's very, fairly cool. Like, you have some nice shots, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Splave in the morning and the way back. PJ, uh, mass man yeah. from HW Bot in the morning. Sorry, PJ, I know you were not shots. that far and you're watching this, but I had to, I had to show this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And some preparation for the card and uh, massive beers. Stepanzi, uh, that was also competing. Uh, that was uh, displaying his, uh, his skills on the Gigabyte um, uh, booth at uh, at CES. I like all the orange liquid electrical tape that everyone's using. It's pretty <laughs> stylish. Yeah, it's very fancy. Yeah, the, the, like That's like something. Fester managed to to write fast with like uh, the liquid tape just to make sure that uh, you know that's his that's board. His board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's really funny the the boards we uh, overclockers or anyone want, wanted always black boards and now you want them red. What's, that's what's the bit. What's the what's this thing yeah. about? That's actually <laughs> something I told to Uncle Fester. It's like uh, when you saw the video earlier, it was like painting red uh, the, the the board and say, "Come on, dude, we did complain for years to have black PCBs on all mainboard. Now that we have them, you paint them red. What's wrong with you?" <laughs> <laughs> and say, so "Yeah, overclockers, they always complain something like this. White PCBs. Yeah, and we what? never got." White PCBs, I think it's uh, yeah, it's pretty uncommon. I think uh, Galax had a, a prototype, right? I never saw the board retail actually. Uh, Sapphire, Sapphire had one. Oh, Sapphire, yeah. sorry, yes. Sapphire yes. had one with uh, like one of the latest on the old old. I mean, one of the latest ATI chipset. Before that was calling AMD, so they 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 used to have one. Uh, but the main thing with the the white PCB, it's even more expensive. Uh, for RMA, because you need to follow some of the uh, of the trace and so on, and for uh, optical verification. So, if you want to know how a main board is made, you can go on uh, youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV and look for <laughs> how to make a motherboard. We did a complete uh, report with Timote uh, on how to do, like, how they do that. And they take, yeah. um, after the, the first PCB go through the, uh, like the, like the oven and so on, like the, the first step of making the main board, they take pictures. And, and these pictures are actually a bit more difficult to do if it's a white PCB rather than a black one or a blue one, you know, like it was yeah. before. That's like true. the uh, uh, electrical optical check, I can't remember the name. It's some kind of machine that does it. Pretty much a picture with a flash, right? And it can read all the... All the yeah. Or the lanes on the and it's all the check if there's like missing component on it and stuff like this. Uh, and one thing, especially for extreme overclockers, is um, because uh, Galax 
uh, that, that used to do the, the GOC. Um, they have um, the Hall of Fame series. So that's a, a, a graphic card that is with a white PCB. Like, that looks cool, that looks cool. Uh, but if you use too much time, like the uh, liquid nitrogen, like going uh, down in the temperature and going up and all that, um, the, I, n I never saw it by myself, uh, but I heard people saying that it usually turned a bit uh, yellowish after. Um, mm. I can understand that if you do like soldering on it, but it's okay. Yeah, so, so far, there is, so far there is no official main board with, black, uh, with white PCB. Only MSI is doing like a black PCB and white uh, slots and cooler. Uh, yeah. Gigabyte is sticking to the uh, uh, black and orange. Not black. Uh, black and yellow is although MSI, and uh, uh, black orange is for the older OC stuff at Gigabyte. Then there's black and uh, black and I think it's red now. There's some no, it's black and blue, black and black, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> you're only you're the only, <laughs> only one getting that joke, Jeff. <laughs> Right, ah, so let's, 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 move that. <laughs> let's move on. So anything else true from CS we worth no, mentioning? Nothing no, much interesting right. beside that. All right, cool. So let's move on. Next topic. Next LAN topic ETS. is the <laughs> LAN ETS. And for that, the best way to announce mm. this new topic is to just watch the trailer. Welcome back on the OC show, the Q&A, the live show. Uh, what you just saw is the uh, trailer for the HWBot World Tour. Uh, I'm very excited about that event. Uh, Timothy, I'm going to let you explain everything about that because I might, I might cry. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably the, one of the most exciting things I, I've been to work on overclocking-wise in the last years. Uh, the World Tour is pretty much the... Um, I mean, like it's overclocker dream, right? It's something people are waiting for, I think, since quite a long time. There has been uh, gatherings all around the world already, and that's very great. For example, you guys, uh, Oliver, at overclock.net are, are really good already at doing that kind of events. I know also the guys in uh, OC UK did some. There's, uh, the Indonesian guys do a lot of that kind of things as well. And uh, I think the, the world tour, the, 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 the idea behind this is to bring all this into one big bucket of of, uh, of overclocking events for overclockers where everyone can come and bench uh, anything they want for three days and at the same time throw in a competition for uh, both uh, extreme guys and also the, the, the more like uh, I would say the more rookies among, among us right the, the guys that are, are not yet to the extreme but really want to want to push things further so this so, event we uh, we will be organizing so hwbot is organizing this event so that's the hwbot world tour so the world tour is, is the gathering pretty much so the the gathering is right. like you you pay the you, you you pay just a fee and you just get there you get a spot you get ln2 and you get the uh, electrical uh, thing you bring everything you want like the hardware it can be yeah. like the, a very old one celeron it can be a very old one pentium 4 uh, there's Edson. no limitation yet. there's no you limitation you want uh, so and the, the, the idea of this is to make it very similar to what the gamers are used to for LAN parties. So instead of a LAN party, it's a bench party. So you go there, bring your gear and bench. That's it. We take care of the LN2 though. <laughs> so we bring it for you. No need to worry about that. So that's the yeah, world that's all tour. Sorted. And there's even some, there should even be some LN2 ice cream as well. Yeah, that would be awesome. Is, is if always you can do fun. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's lunch, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And dinner and dessert. <laughs> well, if you like ice cream, that's going to be okay. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. so that's the world tour. The world tour is the gathering. Uh, what is the world series comparing to that? Uh, so the the world series is um, if you if you would put it in a way that uh, every event could be part of something bigger, then every world series individually at each of the event will be the qualifier for that ultimate thing at the end. So right now, there's, uh, the ultimate thing is not completely set up, but the idea is that we're already starting to put the pieces in place with the World Series, so everyone that goes there can participate in a local competition, so only open to the one that actually uh, purchased the ticket to come to bench. And uh, everyone 
can participate with the hardware they want. There's no hardware limitation in, uh, in the world, too, especially not uh, the one at LAN ETS. And you can come, you can bench and compete in that uh, World Series. And yeah, and that one is extreme. So there's the World Series and the World Series for amateur. But the World Series without amateur, the World Series is only uh, probably just added to. You can, you can compete with air cooling, but I'd, I think you have more chances with extreme cooling. So the World Series, they're going to be the World Series for regular people and the World Series for amateur. So the yes, amateurs, even if you know nothing, and uh, maybe some of the guys watching us now on Twitch, uh, I don't know if uh, Mooks, uh, Mooks, M-O-O-K-Z-S, mm -hmm. that is on the on the Twitch uh, live chat right now. Uh, I don't know if you know exactly about overclocking. You're on overclock.net. Uh, maybe you know, but you never participate in any competitions. You say, "Oh, I don't have the skills, or I, I don't know, uh, I don't know how to do it. I'm not quite sure. I don't have that much chance." With the World Series for Amateur, um, you will be competing against people that have the same knowledge as you. So right. basically, the Amateur is only for people that never compete in any competitions before, on any uh, yeah. official open competitions before, and we even train you before. So there's going to be a workshop uh, at the uh, at the events. Uh, explaining yeah. the basics for those that need on. to be uh, to be trained, yeah. Because uh, gamers from the LAN ETS, so the event is on the LAN party. The same would be uh, in the one in Europe. Same, it would be on the side of a LAN party. So the gamers from the LAN can come and attend that workshop because there's going to be people that will have never done overclocking before. But if you've done already overclocking, you can join as well as long as you are not part of the extreme leagues or. Up. But that's Jacob the Lama in chat is asking, where is the World Series? So the World Series takes place at the World Tour event. So there's three World Tour events uh, for now scheduled. There's the one at LAN ETS in uh, Montreal, Canada. That's uh, in March. So and, six to eight March. And that's with our guys from our friend from Overclock.net. And that's why yes, Oliver right. is right here today. Yeah. And then there's a, yep. there's a going to be another World Tour event for European overclockers. So this one will be taking place in France in the city of Poitiers, which is on the west side of France. Uh, that's on a, also combined with a big LAN party of 2,000 gamers. So cool thing to attend if you the, like gaming the, and overclocking. The I mean, biggest, probably a lot of us are The like biggest that. LAN party in France? Yeah, the biggest in is France. It? That's impressive. And uh, then there's one more World Tour stop, and that one will be at Computex, because uh, Computex this year sounds to be very promising, and there will be a lot of people there. So kind of like last year, the, last year there was the H-Talk about OC Gathering. Well, this year it's going to be called the World Tour, but it's the same thing. And then again, there will be a World Series competition taking place at that event. So every World Tour event has a World Series competition. And for that, that World Series competition. That competition in Computex? Mm -hmm. That is going to be really interesting. There will be a lot of the top guys, and I think especially depending on what hardware we see around Computex time, but there will be some interesting stuff. You can There'll say be some more. serious bragging rights on the line there for that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that so for all the world tour, you have a world series, and you can qualify through the world series to end up in the final of the world series, if you could say. Wh or... Which we still have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> You know, like one thing at a time. Let's focus right now on getting all those events working and people coming there, competing in the World Series for some cool local prizes, you know, like something like that, some, some pieces of hardware or something. And then, yeah. So far, that's the only overclocking event that are announced for 2015. Yes, uh, there might be more, you know, like uh, since we have we, since we announced the World Tour, there has been people coming to us and asking, hey, there's this event here. I'm planning to do something, but it would be cool if we could also connect it to the to the World Tour thing. So right now, yes, indeed, like you say, uh, Jack, Jacob, it's all in the Northern Hemisphere. But, you know, uh, if, for example, someone in Australia says, hey, I have this big gathering in Australia or in South Africa, for example, and we usually are 10, 15 overclockers and would like to combine that with the World Tour slash World Series, why not? You know, it's... Everything is open. It's very flexible, a very flexible uh, framework of, uh, of events, yeah. So that, uh, the, the next event, and that's why Oliver is here with us, uh, mm -hmm. going to be at the LAN ETS in Montreal. So that's going to be March 6, 7, and 8. So 6, uh, that's going to be Friday to uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, that's 
going to be doing the LAN ETS. Uh, just for you guys to know, the LAN ETS is actually the biggest LAN party in Canada. Uh, that's happening in, uh, in Montreal, in the, in the Quebec province. That's actually the French. So people speak French there. <laughs> yes, uh, they, they speak French, but not the French from France. It's a different one. Do they have a, a great accent as well? Uh, they have a good English accent because the French from France sounds like me. They speak like that with a very, uh, very strong uh, French accent. And uh, <laughs> it, sometimes it, uh, it is very difficult to understand them. But here right. it's fine because uh, my accent is much worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, th thanks God, the Overclock.net guys are joining us. And they will have a great English accent to save this. <laughs> To raise the level a little bit higher. <laughs> so, so the official partner of the event, so that's the HWBot World Tour North America, uh, mm -hmm. hosted at Lan ETS. Uh, the, the, the official partners are, of course, HWBot, because they're, you guys are the, uh, the, the, the people organizing it. Uh, Overclock.net is uh, an official partner of this event, as well as Overclocking TV. And this is important. We will be broadcasting everything for the two and a half days there. Um, so even if you live in Europe or Asia or uh, sometimes around the, 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 the globe, or so maybe you live in Brazil and you cannot, you cannot attend and you want to attend and you cannot do it, it's okay. You can still watch it live. But <laughs> for all the people that want to use LN2, have fun, uh, discover the new stuff, for all the people that can go at the event, they can try to qualify through the World Series and that's going to be interesting for all that people at the same time. So, uh, Oliver, what can you tell us about uh, OCN and its involvement in the, the World Tour in Canada? Well, we've been, we've been doing LN2 events all over the place. Like, wherever we've got a few members, mm -hmm. anywhere on the globe that want to get together and have a meet, we usually <coughs> um, pay for the LN2 and uh, the venue and make it happen. But, as you guys know, it's pretty difficult trying to make benching exciting for viewers when it comes to the live streams it's pretty difficult and it's uh it's been an uphill battle so when you guys came to us and uh, asked us to join in on this it was it was pretty easy to say yes because you've all got the same uh same idea on where we need to go where where these l2 meet uh Yep. need to go in order to get bigger and more exciting and how can we make it educational and fun for the viewers it's uh, it should be really fun yeah so who can we expect from OCN forums to to attend that event Do you know I'm not sure there's a few people have already signed up I'm not sure how many tickets you've sold by the way if you're on OCN you're thinking about going we do have uh, free tickets for members so if you're thinking about going, send me a PM, let me know you're buying a ticket, and we'll refund the cost of the ticket once you get there. Yeah, that's pretty, but pretty yeah, neat. Free weekend of benching, yeah? Yeah, it's always good. But um, We have a few heavy hitters showing up. I think Raspaf's going. I think uh, Harvey Cat Greg is going along as well. Uh, Saint-19 from Columbia is making the trip up. So you have no excuses. If he's coming from Columbia... And you're sat in New York thinking, should I go? Yeah, yeah, you definitely should. Yeah, it's very nearby, right? How how long is the trip from from New York for to Montreal trip? Uh, Montreal is quite is it, quite uh, I won't say central because not central in in, in Eastern, <laughs> but uh, it's like six to seven hours drive from uh, from New York. Actually, it's six hours drive, but you get stuck at the at the border usually. <laughs> so that's usually especially six. with all the gear, I suppose. And the and the torch and the D words and the <laughs> and all the hardware and so on. Uh, so yeah, it's like six yeah, to seven hours drive. Customs are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would actually say the same with the U.S. customs, but well. <laughs> so um, it's like six to seven hours drive from New York. It's uh, six six hours to seven hours from Toronto. It's three hours from Ottawa. Uh, if you happen to be living in Quebec right now, it's like three hours away. Uh, Montreal have a big airport, so it's quite uh, it's quite close. Um, just depend on the on the price. So I I know that some people from the from the other side of the of the continent of the other side of America mm. are uh, Pacific side uh, are planning actually to come over to to see what's going on. So for them that's gonna be pretty much like the price of the tickets to come and enjoy the uh, enjoy the event, yeah. especially if they are part of uh, OCN and uh, yeah and get the refund uh, tickets. Yeah, and if you're short on budget, uh, people that attend even can uh, sleep in the dorms of the LAN party, right? And so, access the showers and stuff. So you don't really need to uh, 
necessarily book an extra hotel or something. Like, I mean, if you're fine sleeping in a sleeping bag for two nights, uh, or not sleeping at all, I suppose, well, then, <laughs> then it's fine, right? Like, you can, you can save a, a great deal of cost that way. You literally just need to get yourself there, get some Doritos and some energy drinks, and you're all set for the weekend. <laughs> Free yeah. on two. Even some hardware to bench if you're uh, in the amateur competition, yeah. and uh, we should even be able. We should even have uh, a few Allen two pots for people to use. Yeah, which, yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry if you don't have any. Yeah, yeah. That's right. There, there will be enough people to to share the the hardware. Uh, although the uh, the LAN ETS, uh, to my point of view, there is two big LAN party in uh, in the world. The first one is Gamers Assembly, and that's actually the one. Uh, we're gonna be attending in uh, in po in Poitiers, and the second one is LAN ETS, and it's it's a lot of fun to to go to these LAN parties. The uh, like the people organizing that even are actually uh, having a lot of fun to do it, and that's why they actually welcome us there. Uh, for yeah, it's it's great to have a spot there. Oh, Chuf, you're playing with your mic. <laughs> Stop touching things. And I'm back. I lost my mic. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Timothée, what do you expect from the <laughs> from this even specific, like the, the Montreal one? Uh, what is your so, your biggest expectation for this one? So yeah, for for the, the, this event, it's uh, very focused on the North American guy, especially people living on the East Coast. Uh, so people that can actually travel there or like a like a share a car to to ride up. Um, so yeah, we, we're expecting to see a lot of people from Overclock.net. There's uh, some Quebec-based uh, Overclockers, so people from the uh, Overclock.qc community that are going to attend as well. Um, actually, most of those guys already were planning to go to the LAN ETS as gamers, so some of them are actually going to 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 use their tickets as both or things like that. So it's it's gonna be like a a, a cool cool event. We expect to see uh, to see also a new a lot of new faces through the the workshops and the the World Series for amateur. And I think that's a very important thing to um, to make sure that we we get um, new guys to participate, and uh, we get them to uh, not necessarily completely hooked up on the overclocking thing, but you know have them uh, as a hard people that like hardware have them uh, learn a little bit more of how things work and what you actually can get from from the hardware you're buying more than from what is a reference clocks and things like that. And it's actually easier than what people think to have a clock these days. It's very, very simple. And uh, that's usually what you can see in that type of events. People that discover, oh, wow, it's actually so easy to, you know, go up to 4.5 gigs. You know, it's not really that much of a big deal anymore. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. And we are, that's really what we are looking for. And you don't necessarily need like a, a 2000 USD setup. Just to do oh. that, you can do that. You know, you, like you can have fun thing. with a Pentium Anniversary Edition. Sure, it's not gonna break uh, anything anywhere near where your i5 overclocked at the same frequency, right? But it's it's a good start for someone that that is maybe scared of trying and doesn't wanna invest anything in it. So yeah. Let's watch again. Let's watch again the the trailer for that even because I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back in the OC Show, the Q&A live on Twitch uh, for the Overclocking TV channel. So we are here, I'm Truthman, there is Timothy on oh, the other side, and below there, there is Oliver. Uh, that is uh, true Skype, but that can't display his camera. Um, yeah. I think we did speak it for... the secret man. Th th that's the Come shadow man. <laughs> <laughs> and in the picture, that's not him. <laughs> <laughs> So so yeah, actually, so we did a lot of. Um, that's, that's me at one of the Ellen Two meets. Actually, yeah, yeah the pub it was a while ago. That one, I think that's 2012. Yeah, it's a great picture. That's that's the only one you provide anyway. So, if if yeah. you would provide me a picture of I don't know a monkey or a flower, I would not put <laughs> this one either. That's that's not a big deal for me. Yeah. So you, if I'll, you I'll get have, a new picture yeah. for next time, or yeah. or even a webcam <laughs> and a new internet connection. 
Uh, every show a different picture. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions about whatever we talked in the show, so something about CS, something about the HyperX competition, something about the uh, about World Tour, or anything about upcoming competitions, uh, feel free to still ask. Uh, we are going to, uh, yeah, probably wrap up the show because uh, right now it's been almost an hour that we are streaming and. You know, we know it's always like this. Once you start talking for too long, you start talking nonsense. So <laughs> it's better to keep it short sometime and focus. Well, that's Don't what happened after 12, 12 hours of live. That uh, I remember we did the uh, the MOA live uh, in October for the final, and the first day was twelve hours nonstop. At the end of the day, we were not wow. even finishing our sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Especially no more voice, right? Yeah, that was difficult, but that was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, so truth, uh, what is in the next show? When is the next show? Well, what? actually, the next show is going to be announced in the next OC show. So yeah, that's that's going to that's be been when? that's been like in two weeks from now, pretty much. Yeah, and yeah, we are trying to do a OC show every every two weeks. So if you've seen this one, first one was released on Friday, right? So the next one will be in two Fridays from that one. So should be released around the Friday. Well, let's say in two weeks. 30. Yeah, about that. <laughs> about so the next what? show is that one where Truthman's using that LN2 board in the background, right? He's using that on live stream. <laughs> that would be epic. <laughs> uh, no comment, no comment from Truthman. <laughs> yeah, better you don't comment, man. You're going to make enemies here. <laughs> He's dodging that one. <laughs> I dodged the so, bit. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, in the next in the next show, like um, we're going to talk about uh, upcoming competitions. Uh, there's some stuff uh, arriving on Ashtoybot that is going to be very cool. So stay tuned. Uh, there's going to be more information about the World Tour in Europe, and uh, more precisions uh, for the World Tour in uh, in uh, Canada if we have some more to share, which I'm pretty sure we will have by then. Um, there's going to be yeah a discussion about. Um, anything else happening until then but you know there's some things that are secret so we need to keep the secret well thank you guys for watching thank you for everyone being in the live chat uh, asking a few questions we i hope that uh, uh, the people that did ask them we did answer you uh, even if we uh, talked about that in the different topics uh, don't forget to follow us here on twitch you can click the follow buttons uh, thank you very much oliver from overclock.net uh, the partners of the of the hwbot world tour north america event uh, thank you for being with us it's uh, it was very late for you no i problem. do appreciate uh, thank you, Timote, to be there from uh, from the the sunny side of Taiwan. No problem. <laughs> Always, it's a pleasure. And don't forget, guys, if you want to know when we're gonna be the, uh, gonna be having the next show, you can subscribe on Twitch. You can follow us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV. Only one word. Uh, you can follow, find us on Facebook. You look for overclocking dash TV and you're gonna find us, or you can also find us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash overclocking TV in one word. So we hope to see you guys in two weeks from now, unless there's some special broadcast in between. So enjoy and keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it.